This was such a fun movie to watch. Was it just as much fun to make? It was. I mean, I had an incredibly fun time, and I think everyone else did, too. <laughs> and this is your first film, correct? It is, yeah. How did you land the role? Um, I kind of backed into it a little bit. I, I, there was never really a moment where I felt like I had landed the role. Um, I was, I am friends with Paul Anderson, the director, and he had texted me and asked if I would maybe help him figure out, or test out an idea that he was working on, which was, he was toying with whether or not to have a narrator in the film, and so he would send me sort of fragments of narration, and I would record myself saying them, reading them back in various sort of versions of the of these passages, and um, we would send these things back and forth for a while, and then at some point, I guess he decided he did want to move forward with the idea of having a narrator, and did want to move forward with me doing the narration, but um, yeah, I, I, I there wasn't ever really a moment where I was like. I got the role! <laughs> oh, that's perfect. And yeah. then when you did the narration, was that done prior to the film being made or was it done in post-production? Uh, a little of both. Okay. Um, yeah, most of the stuff we did before the production began, I think, ended up not being used. Um, but if, I think maybe a few tiny bits we recorded and originally did end up in the movie, I believe. Um, and then sort of throughout the course of filming and then after in post-production I would you know once a week maybe come to the um, come to his work studio and record different versions of the narration he just kept tweaking it slightly in ways that I usually couldn't even tell uh, exactly what had changed but there would be some little some little word that was bugging him or that didn't sync up with the action in a way that he liked or, or perhaps any other number of things he wanted to change but um, so I would come and redo the narration over and over and over again. So overall, was the experience on set how you pictured it, or were there any surprises? Mm. I mean, it kind of was all surprises for me, just because I didn't really exactly know what to picture. I had never really done that before. And what was it like seeing yourself on the big screen? It's a little odd. <laughs> it's funny, hearing myself doesn't bother me as much. I can sort of almost... I forget that it's me in a way because the story and the the film is so beautifully made and complete that it just feels like a complete work that that I I don't notice that I have anything to do with it really when I'm watching it but it is a little odd still to see myself on camera. Well, you have an incredible voice. It would be a great voice for um narrating books as well. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um so what what if you could choose your next role, what would be your dream role? Oh, I, I think I already got to do it, yeah. I mean, g getting to play anything in a Paul Thomas Anderson movie was, that was kind of it for me. <laughs> exactly, yeah. and what's next for you? Um, just keep working on music. I have some new, new music I'm working on. Hopefully at hmm. some point I can put out another record and <laughs> tour. That sounds great. Thank you so much for talking Thank to you. us today. Thank you very much.